All right, so here's the giant, gigantic spaghetti mess of wires that is the finished product. Uh, because of all this spaghetti mess, uh, in order to do my testing, I have to plug it in manually uh, at the beginning of the test day every day, but that's when I start my work day anyways. So I come out here at 8 o'clock sharp and I unplug the heater from the extension cord because I keep the thing heated. But all this stuff draws too much current in addition to my electric car. So can't plug in my electric car until all this is off or the circuit flips. But I come in, unplug the heater, plug in the power strip, and then this guy here is my power source uh, controlled by an Arduino for the pumps feeding these two beds. have soil moisture sensors on each of them here that go back to the Arduino that also controls the pumps because I had to get two data logging shields because they both need real-time chips and then this data logging thing also doesn't have the pin things that I need to do the soil sensor. So that's that. This is soil sensor and powering the pumps. And then this here, this here, and then this probe here are taking temperature. And then in here is the fish pond with the gravity feed down to the sump. And then the other two pumps are in the sump and come out of each of these hoses. I've had my data collected and have been writing all that, but I'm going to get this all recorded so that I can tear this beast apart and finally actually have some room to park again. So, yeah, finally done!